Hello everyone, my name is Jason Jarvis with Pat Joyce Insurance Agency in North Canton, Ohio. Every day we have clients call our office asking us questions about their particular insurance policies. I've determined if one person has that question, there's probably a lot of you out there with that very same question. So I'm doing a series of videos and uploading those to Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn, and hopefully this answers the question for a lot of you out there. So today's question is pertaining to gap coverage. Gap coverage is a coverage that is designed to cover the gap from the value of the vehicle at the time of loss to the remaining balance on the loan or lease. So for example, if you purchased a vehicle, it will depreciate more rapidly in the first few years than actually what your principal balance on your loan decreases. So you may purchase a vehicle and at the time of loss, your insurance company may deem that vehicle's actual cash value of 20000 but you may still owe $24,000 on the loan. The gap coverage is actually what will relieve you of that balance of the $4,000 difference. Gap coverage is most typically offered by the auto dealership where you purchase your vehicle. We also encourage our clients to look at their individual auto insurance policies to see if it's eligible for gap coverage. Each company has its own guidelines on if you are allowed to add gap coverage depending on the year of the vehicle, whether or not you are or are not the original owner of the vehicle or the first title holder of the vehicle, and they also have differences on how they cover the gap coverage. For example, Company A may only pay up to 125% of the actual cash value at the time of loss. So in that scenario, if you totaled your vehicle and that company only gives you $20,000, which is the actual cash value of the vehicle at time of loss, the most that they would pay is an additional 25%, which would be $5,000 for that gap. So that company would only pay in this scenario a maximum of, of $25,000 for that claim. If you owe more than $25,000 on that vehicle of which your insurance company only paid you the twenty-five, dollars that difference you would owe out of your pocket, okay? So another company may pay any balance over and above the actual cash value at the time of loss. So if you uh, total that vehicle and its value at the time of loss is $20,000, but you still owe $24,000 or $27,000 on the vehicle, the insurance company's gap coverage will pay that entire $4,000 or $7,000 in this scenario. Uh, so it's important that you read your policy and it's important that you speak to your agent to find out if your company offers gap coverage or should you have purchased it through the dealership. Now there are pros and cons of purchasing gap coverage through a dealership. One of the pros is that typically a dealership will be able to get you a gap policy regardless of the model year of the vehicle. So if you're purchasing a vehicle that's four or five or six years old, you very well likely may still be able to purchase gap coverage and add it to your loan. They also very well may be able to give you gap coverage if you're the second or third owner of the vehicle, where your insurance company may prohibit you or prevent you from adding gap coverage if you're the second or third owner or if the vehicle is more than three years old. Now let's talk about the cons. The cons are is typically through a dealer, gap coverage is significantly more expensive. It may cost you four, five, six hundred dollars a same type of policy that you can purchase through your auto insurer for fifty dollars a year. Fifty dollars a year times three years is obviously hundred and fifty dollars, so it's significantly less expensive on your auto insurance policy. Now, the other con is that on a with a dealership, you add it into your loan which means you may have a five or six year loan agreement for the vehicle you purchase. So for five or six years, you're paying for gap coverage and it looks attractive because you may only be paying six or eight dollars a month for that policy. However, if you spread it out over the five or six years, you're paying significantly more than adding it to your auto insurance policy. The other thing is that adding it to your loan for that five or six year loan, time, loan payment is that usually your depreciation is the most rapid in the first couple years of your loan, which means in years four and five of your loan, you are probably not upside down or not carrying any negative equity where you would need the gap coverage. Uh, whereas with your auto insurance carrier, they usually la limit that gap coverage to three years. So you're actually carrying and paying for the gap coverage at the time where you need it most. 
If you have any questions pertaining to gap coverage, I would encourage you to call your agent or read through your policy. If you have questions about this video, please give me a call at 330-494-7900 or shoot me an email, jason at patjoyceinsurance.com. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.